Hello dear friends, I will talk about Mongolia and Northeast Asia. On Northeast Asian security issues, Mongolia has been pushing forward proposals aimed at setting up new dialogue, uh, setting up dialogue mechanisms since 1980s at the Sims Ministerial Conference of Community of Democracies held in Ulaanbaatar in April 2013. The president of Mongolia, Elbeg Doge, formally proposed a new initiative, the Ulaanbaatar Dialogue uh, on Northeast Asian Security. Now I will talk about the aims and purposes of Ulaanbaatar Dialogue. First purpose is to continue to downgrade the anachronistic mistrust to negotiations. Second purpose is to make efforts aimed at reaching long-term goals of regional peace in setting up mechanisms of dialogue in Northeast Asia. And the third purpose is building strong confidence and mutual understanding through dialogue in the Northeast Asia. Now I'll talk about why is a dialogue necessary for Northeast Asia security. It builds a mutual understanding and trust between parties through open talks. It is an inclusive process which brings together the voices of government officials, academics, and civil society to address common challenges. It can help prevent conflicts from arising and facilitate lasting comprehensive settlements for existing conflicts. Now I'll talk about the principles and parties. Principles include common interest, mutual respect, mutual trust, multilateral talks, openness, and transparency. Parties include, the dialogue could include the six countries of Northeast Asia and international organizations. Participation of other countries and entities shall be discussed in an open and transparent way through step-by-step -step approach. Mm. Now I'll talk about the topics to be discussed during Ulaanbaatar dialogue. Every region faces a myriad of distinct problems and those of Northeast Asia that the Ulaanbaatar dialogue is designed to eliminate or mitigate are those that affect regional peace and stability. To that end, this forum strives to encourage cultural educational exchange, improve economic cooperation, improve political cooperation, foster substantive debate on environmental issues, enhance health care, ensure cyber security. At last, I'll talk about past achievements. First, we successfully organized the role of women parliamentarians in promoting peace and development through education. Second, we successfully organized the Lombardo Dialogue on Northeast Asian Security International Conference. Third, we successfully organized sustainable and inclusive cities near Northeast Asian Mayor's Forum. Fourth, we successfully organized Northeast Asian Energy Connectivity Workshop. At last, we successfully organized Northeast Asian Youth Symposium for Regional Cooperation in conjunction with Mongolian Youth Federation. Uh, and Mongolia wants to be a leading country in Northeast Asia. Thank you all very much for your attention. <laughs>